Moving on to the roads, though, this is the A11, which is closed out of town by Mile End Station. That's because of emergency repairs. It's all after that manhole collapsed yesterday morning. Elsewhere, the M25 is slow clockwise over the QE2 bridge now, and the A13 has delays into town from the Goresbrook interchange to Barking. Finally, the A2 is slow into town from Elton to Kidbrook. Now let's get a check on the weather with Kate Kinsella. Good morning. It's a cold start out there this morning. One or two spots, mostly outside of the M25, down below zero. So sparkles of frost this morning for some of us, but it means plenty of sunshine. A really beautiful, crisp start to the day. And gradually, the sun warms up quite nicely. We're going to feel the benefit of that. We've lost the chill that we've had for the last few days. 18 Celsius, the maximum in central London, a little later. So a really pleasant day all in all. Now, overnight tonight, Starting off clear, temperatures dropping down again, but then could see a bit more cloud as we work our way towards door. Not quite as chilly overnight. Minimum temperature in towns and cities between 6 and 9 Celsius. Now, a bit of a change tomorrow. Air coming from the south, quite moist air. It will feel mild, but we will see some showers. One or two of those quite heavy. They could spring up anywhere, but look at the temperature, 19 Celsius. Now, this low pressure bringing the showers continues to move through on Friday. So some potentially quite heavy and maybe thundery showers showers for Friday as well. Stays reasonably unsettled into the weekend but we should see some decent spells of sunshine throughout and the temperature remains 18 maybe 19 Celsius and nighttime temperatures remain reasonable as well. I'll be back with the latest from the BBC London newsroom in half an hour's time. Bye for now.